Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial series. This is our second tutorial and part three of my series of everything you need to know about modding Grand Theft Auto 5. So in today's episode we are going to be talking about installing plugins and scripts. Um, I will link my website down below so you guys can read along. Um, so let's go ahead and start. All right, so first off, we're going to talk about the different types of plugins and callouts. We don't really have to go over this. You guys can read about this on my on my blog, on my website, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this. So um, first thing we want to do, most scripts, most plugins, they all need uh, scripthook5 or scripthook5.net or ragehook. We already installed ragehook in our previous episode, so if you guys need to learn about that, make sure you guys go one episode back and check that out. So most of those things needs one of the, those three, scripthook5, scripthook5.net or a ragehook plugin, which we already did. So let's go ahead and download scripthook5 and scripthook5.net by clinking Click in the links down below. Links will be in the description and the links are on my website. So you're going to get to this website for Scripthook 5. Uh, Scripthook 5 is a library that allows GTA 5 script native functions to work. Um, they don't work online, so just keep that in mind. They do that so that you won't get banned, basically. Here's the installation. So what you want to do is copy Scriptlet 5 into the game's main folder. Um, the game main folder would be, if you did a default install with Steam, it will be right here. So it will be in your C drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5. That's where you're going to want to install it to. So let's go ahead and click download. Uh, just take a look at the release and the version. Make sure that everything matches your game so as you can see it works for the current version of GTA which is 877 um, if you don't know what version of GTA you have if you just like highlight over hover over the GTA files like so the GTA 5 EXE or the launcher see it says file version 1.0 0.877.1 so you just gotta make sure all of that matches up with this which it should so you're gonna hit download and it's gonna download script hook 5 next you wanna go to the second website which was uh, for script hook 5.net sorry this is a little bit small but you guys can zoom in if you open up the page so you wanna download script hook 5.net again you wanna download the most recent version um, and again you just want to make sure everything works for the version you're on so again 877 they have the older versions here as well so make sure you download the correct one so you want to download you want to click scriptlook5.net and that's going to download down there all right so the install for both of these are very simple um go back to our website here all you have to do is put them into your main Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, which by default would be here if you install the game with Steam. Now, my folder is in a different location, but what you would do is go to like your My PC or this wherever, or your computer, and you would go to your C drive, you go to Program Files 86. From here, you would have a Steam folder. Now, my Steam is not installed here, which is why it's not here. So I have mine in my D drive, because on my computer, my D drive has more memory. So it'll be in your D drive. Um, you would go to Steam Games. You would go to Steam Apps. You would go to Common, your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, and this is where you want to install all those files so let's open up the first one here uh, you're gonna get these three options you want to go into the bin and now you have three files here so let's pull this over here let's put our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder over here and again you want to make sure you're in your main Grand Theft Auto 5 folder now this is a ASI loader uh, this is a ASI trainer or a trainer and this is a script hook the script hook file 
So what you want to do is copy all three of these into here. Um, this trainer is another trainer that um, I believe I don't want to. I don't. I don't. Um, I don't know what to write there. I'll just skip over that. So we want to do copy all three of these, highlight them, drag them, copy, paste, whatever you want to do into your GTA 5 folder. Being careful not to accidentally drop them into one of these files here. So copy. Um, or if it says replace, replace. Boom. So you're gonna now have the input. You're gonna have the native trainer and the script hook five in your GTA directory. Okay, so that's done. We could close that. Now let's open up script hook five dot net. Um. You're not going to need the license, you're not going to need the readme, you're just going to want to take these three files, do the same exact thing, and you want to drop them into your GTA 5 folder, copy, paste, whatever. If it says replace, replace. So that's what you want to do there. Um, the next thing you want to do from here is, um, I would recommend you create a scripts folder. So that scripts folder, you're going to want to just go new folder, make a new folder, and then rename it. Click rename, and then rename it scripts. Now, I already have one, so it's going to tell me that. So I'm just going to click no, and I'm going to delete that. So once you have a script folder, this is where you're going to put um, all your script files that we're going to download. So I actually have to up, update my game right now, which is a good timing for this tutorial. So let's go to lspdfr, lcpdfr.com. Let's go to their mod section. And we're going to scripts and plugins. So I'll put the link in the description for these files. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download a couple of plugins and callouts that I need to update. Um, most of these I already have, but since the game updated, they had to update all of these as well. So you want to just click on whatever you want. Um, I'm going to put a link to all of the ones that I use personally. And I'm also going to do a behind the scenes episode where I show you guys how to use all the different features of all of these different callouts. Um, so you're going to want to just download all of these. So for example, you click on them. You're going to click download. You're going to download the most current version of the files, which I already done. So let's just go to our downloads folder. And now we're going to want to start installing some of these. So uh, first thing first, let's install. Let's see where we want to start. Let's install. Did I download this stuff? I guess I didn't. I thought I did. All right. So I'm just going to quickly download some things because I thought I already downloaded them. But I guess I did not. All right. So let's download a couple of things. So I'm going to download this. Uh, I'm going to download that. You're going to have to do these security checks. I wish they had the numbers ones. They, Because some of these you really can't see. Like I cannot see what that says. All right. Click download. Let's go back to scripts and plugins. I'll download this. I use this. I'll use crazy callouts, better EMS, arrest manager, traffic policer. We already got that, and I'll use assorted callouts. So we're just gonna go over these right here. So I'm gonna download that. Send into a mini request right now. Basically, it's telling me stop opening so many tabs. All right, it should work now. All right, download and search for it. Uh, do we want crazy callouts? Yeah, we'll take it. Let's check it out. We haven't used it in a while, so we're going to download crazy callouts. I'm going to download EMS support. And again, pick and choose what you like. You don't have to download everything. Just download what you think you would need. Um, again, check out the list below for what I use. 
Okay. All right, so now we have everything downloaded. So let's start with search warrant. I'm gonna open that up. I have a search warrant folder. We're gonna open that. We have a README file. Always read the README file. So you always wanna go over this. So it's sim it says simply copy the contents of the files into your GTA directory. And that's pretty much it. It will automatically be activated. You don't have to load it. Make sure you guys read all of this stuff. It tells you what buttons to press. Um, and stuff like that. So we're gonna go into the files, and you want to down copy all of this into the GTA folder. So here we are in our main GTA folder. Again, make sure you're in the right location. Um, and again, your location may be different. The default no, don't start Fawzer. The default location is going to be right here. So remember that. This is where your GTA 5 folder is going to be. All right. So again, what you want, what you want to do, copy all of this, highlight all of this, whatever works for you, and drag it over here. Now, when you're updating stuff, it's going to say replace. If it's the first time you're installing it, obviously it's going to be nothing to replace. So you're just going to, you're just going to install. So what this does is so cool, it automatically puts all the files wherever they need to be. So it basically takes these files and put them in here, and then takes your put the files in here, the plugins files, it automatically puts it in here, then it puts it in there, so it puts it in the LSPDFR, and it search for it, and then you see also here search for it. So that's installed properly, and we're done. Boom. So let's go back to our Grand Photo 5 folder. Um, let's download the next callout, crazy callouts. Now, almost all callouts work the same way. As you can see, this one has a LSPDFR folder. So make sure you hit read to read me. I already know what to do. We're gonna do the same exact steps. Um, now just copy these into your GTA 5 folder and overwrite if necessary. So what it's doing is automatically put in the files into the correct location in your LSPDFR and your plugins location. So that is done. Read the readme to figure out how to use the call out and stuff like that. Uh, so next, better EMS. This one's a little more tricky. Um, again, read the readme. It comes with some extras, which are optional. So read all of that if you would like to do that stuff. Make sure you read the readme because this one's a little tricky. Now I just use this one like the default way, so I'm just gonna click here. And you just again copy and just put them right where they have to go. Copy, drag, move, replace if necessary. And that's done. Now I do want to check out that file, so we're gonna go plugins, we're gonna go, let's see, it's plugins, we're gonna go LSPDFR. And we're gonna go into the EMS mod folder. Actually, no. We're gonna go to the INI file. So we're gonna go to Better EMS INI. This is where you could customize the files. So I just wanna check something. Use this key to call an ambulance even if you don't have no fire truck enabled. See, I wanna I wanna put a modifier on this. A modifier is like you have to press two buttons so it to start. So I'm gonna make the modifier shift because what happened is sometimes I would press L and I'll accidentally call an ambulance for no reason, as you guys probably see in my episodes. So I'm gonna press that. Um, you can also like do a lot of things, which is which pretty much controls how the mod works. But we're not gonna really do that right now. Um, just gonna hit save and done. All right, so that's done. So we go back to our GTA 5 folder. Next, we're gonna install some mods by Albo. So arrest manager. I'm gonna go into the GTA 5 folder, and again, you guys should know by now. Copy paste. Make sure you guys read the readme's, and make sure you guys read the INI files for a customization. So. Drag all that stuff over there. Um, this is a rest manager. I don't think I have to change anything in here, but I'm just gonna 
quickly go in there to make sure. Yeah, we don't have to do anything. I think I use everything like by default on here. I'll figure it out later if we have to. So close that. I'm gonna download Traffic Policer. Same concept. Copy and paste. As you notice, we already installed these two from his last file. Both of these are made by uh, Alba 1125. So again, copy paste. He's gonna ask me if I wanna overwrite. Oh, I just made a mistake. You see that, guys? I just made a mistake I'm trying to rush. So let's press delete. <laughs> I didn't go back to my GTA 5 folder. So let's do that over. So again, make sure you always drag and drop into the GTA 5 folder or else everything will not work. So we can exit that out. Uh, let's go assorted callouts by Albo as well. Same thing again. And this works for installing pretty much any callout and any plugin. It's pretty much the same steps. Again, read the readme. Sometimes there's different things you got to do, but that's the main things that you would have to do. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install um, plugins and scripts. Um, uh, again, check out the stay tuned for the behind the scenes episode where I go over how to like use these scripts and how to which buttons to press and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. That should be out soon. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Again, this is another good script here. This one to look through all of these, see what you guys like, see what you don't like. If you don't like something, like say if I want to delete a call out, I don't like it. Uh, what you want to do is go into your plugins folder, your LSPDF or a folder. So you want to take out a rest manager, just highlight, delete delete and then delete a folder if it has it so that's pretty much how you would install plugins uh, to make sure they work just start up rage hook and i'll make sure everything works um one step i forgot to mention install them one by one just in case if something goes wrong and the game doesn't start you know where to backtrack and what to change so that's going to be it for today. Again, stay tuned for the behind the scenes episode where we'll show how to make all of this stuff work. So I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Check out my website. Check out my YouTube channel. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace.